Use the positioning plate from the wooden crate to mark and drill the installation holes. Note, the bottom edge of the positioning plate must align with the lowest point of the transom. The lower, the better. For single engine or drive installation, refer to the hole positions of the center unit in the video. For dual engine or drive installation, refer to the positions of the units on both sides. In dual engine installation, the distance between the two units does not need to be as wide as shown in the video. Adjust the spacing according to the actual transom width of your vessel. Except for the reserved bolt holes, apply marine grade sealant over the entire area where the main shaft connects to the transom, ensuring full and even coverage. Apply marine grade sealant at the main shaft connection point. As shown in the video, you can first lift the main shaft and then apply the sealant, or apply the sealant while the main shaft is placed on the ground. After that, lift the main shaft for the next installation step. Lift the main shaft that has been coated with marine grade sealant and align it with the pre-drilled holes on the transom. Once properly aligned, slowly push the shaft forward into position to ensure a secure and sealed fit. After confirming that the holes are properly aligned, use appropriately sized bolts and screws to preliminarily fasten the main shaft to the transom in sequence. At each bolt and screw connection point, be sure to apply a sufficient amount of marine grade sealant to ensure a watertight installation. Do not fully tighten the bolts and screws at this stage. First, insert all bolts and screws into their respective holes. Once all are in place, proceed to tighten them evenly. Must ensure that all connection points are thoroughly coated with an adequate amount of marine grade sealant both on the inside and outside of the hull. After all bolts and screws have been securely fastened, apply an additional complete ring of sealant around the outer side of the hull where the drive shaft connects, ensuring full coverage and watertight integrity. After the main shaft is installed, inspect the connection of the rubber protection sleeve on the shaft. If it is loose, use the appropriate tools to securely fasten it in place. After completing the previous steps, proceed to install the hydraulic cylinder. As with the previous steps, apply a sufficient amount of marine grade sealant at the connection points between the components and the transom. Once the holes are properly aligned, secure the component using bolts and screws of the appropriate size. Please note that an adequate amount of marine grade sealant must also be applied to the bolts and nuts. After tightening the bolts securely, apply an additional ring of sealant around the outer edge of the connecting component to ensure complete sealing. Connect the other end of the hydraulic cylinder to the designated mounting point on the main shaft. If the parts do not align perfectly during installation, try adjusting the height and angle of the main shaft. Once aligned, insert the provided bolts into the connection slot and tighten them securely. Repeat the same steps to connect and install all three hydraulic cylinders securely. If you encounter any issues during the installation that are not covered in this video, please contact your TSD sales representative or engineer promptly. We will respond to your inquiries as soon as possible.